That's right, Stephanie. Jennifer Sisson says she's doing this to honor her late wife and their relationship. An incident that occurred hours after Pam died convinced the normally private widow to fight. I didn't always have a have a shaved head. I didn't Jennifer Sisson hair. cut her hair earlier this year to support her wife Pam in her final days. I don't know. There, there was something special about her. Um, I think that you know anyone who who met her would attest to that. But now, from her home in Decatur, the 34-year-old widow talks about taking even more drastic action, suing the state for failing to recognize their marriage. A marriage is a marriage, in, in my opinion, and. Um, for my marriage to somehow not be equal to someone else's marriage um, doesn't seem right to me. The couple met in 2001 and tied the knot in New York last year. A month later, they learned Pam's ovarian cancer had returned. Certainly I had moments of being angry, um, but every single day my overriding emotion was a gratefulness of having another day with her. Jennifer says she took a leave from work to care for Pam, who died in March, surrounded by Jennifer and their children. What happened just hours later gave Jennifer resolve to fight. They told me that since the state of Georgia didn't recognize our marriage, that her death certificate would state that she was never married. And, you know, I think that a time like that, you shouldn't have to be fighting that battle. And Jennifer says she's fighting this battle so no one else has to deal with having their marriage ignored by the state of Georgia. Stephanie.